Hello, everyone. Welcome to What Sold Saturday. Yes, welcome uh, to What Sold Saturday. The <laughs> Today. The, this is Saturday. This is a really good sales week for me. Like, really good. Like, I think... my best. <laughs> I think that this is my best week I've ever had. And I think... Which is usually how it goes. I think that is mainly because of two sales in particular that you will see when we get into this. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I had my best sales week ever. That's exciting. Another exciting thing is that tomorrow, actually, uh, we are leaving for Chicago. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. Ugh. So every year around my birthday, it's become like a thing that we do every year. Like, mm -hmm. it just it's started like two weekend. years ago. We just decided to do it. And then the next year, we we're like, that sounds fun again. Mm -hmm. And it happened to be in March around my birthday both times. And so then this year, we're like, okay, well, it's something we do every year. And the hotel that we stayed in last time is so nice and stuff so and nice. not too expensive. Oh. So we are doing it again. And we are leaving on Sunday. And it's for my birthday, even though my birthday is not actually until the 26th. It's at the end of the month. We're doing it kind of early just because, like, it doesn't really matter when we actually do it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're going to Chicago. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> and on Tuesday, you guys are going to be getting a haul from last Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So this has nothing to do with that, like, huge, crazy no, different one. haul. This is a totally different one. And we're only doing that, like, another haul. Because, like, that's what's easiest to film and to have, like, mm -hmm. put up while we're gone. And then on Thursday, we're still going to be gone. That's actually the day we come back. But yes. we are going to upload a vlog of all of the, like, fun that we had in Chicago. And uh, that will include, like, we're going to go to the, so the Real Real store again. It'll be a little less in-depth than last time because that yeah. was us, like, purposefully doing a Real Real video. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go to the fashion outlets of oh, Chicago. One of my favorite places on planet Earth. I'm so excited. We are probably going to thrift. There's a last chance there, which we don't have those here. So mm -hmm. we're going to go check those are fun to putz around. And it's just going to be like footage of all the fun stuff we did in Chicago. And that's on Thursday. <gasps> the food that we're going to eat. Yes, oh. The pizza and the hot dogs. I'm the so The hot dogs. I'm the so chocolate excited. cake. Yeah. Oh. So you guys didn't come here to hear about chocolate Chicago. cake. <laughs> <laughs> in Chicago. You came here for sales. But before we talk about sales, we have to do our fun new introduce the t-shirt, introduce our outfit. Da, 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 da. So this is going to look familiar in the Tuesday video. <laughs> <laughs> because we are filming the Tuesday video today as well. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to put effort in and I'm going to change my shirt. I did not. So this, I'm dirty in one t-shirt today. This is a sweatshirt that I just got today. And it is from Bonobos. And I didn't know that Bonobos makes like super fun like mod cloth type it's so clothing cute. for men. And I discovered that. And so I ordered two things. You'll see the other thing on Tuesday. It's like a... Night butterfly. Sweatshirt. It's and this is like a fancy. big old like nice terry like cloth patch. kind of patch. Yeah, it's really nice and it's mm -hmm. really cute. And I love like moths and butterflies. So they are excited. night butterflies. Yes, and so, I'm in my good old Ruth Franklin T-shirt. Yes, R E S P E C T. <laughs> okay, so this week covers the 26th through the 4th. So before we jump into sales, one more thing. <sighs> we have a special message. Brought to you by someone who is neither of us. As promised, I wanted to show you guys the end result of my Poshmark savings. Um, these are the countertops, and I think they turned out very lovely. They've been in for about a week and a half now, matching my golden oak <laughs> cupboards very nicely. I agree. And I just wanted to thank everyone for buying anything on my Poshmark site and help making this possible. I think they look really good. It's like a gold, what's the color called? Santana, I believe, Something. Santana Cruz or Santana. And it's granite. And it is, it is granite, I settled on granite. Yes, so we think they look good. Yes, thank you everyone. <laughs> I had one eBay sale. I had one trade to sale that really wasn't that important. I had to cancel a couple of Mercari sales. Um, my one eBay sale was on consignment from a very good friend of mine who also goes to the bins with us. And it was this rare Ariana Grande pink is the seven rings tour uh or seven rings was the song the sweet year tour graphic long sleeve shirt and it sold outright on ebay for 99 dollars. that's pretty crazy i was very 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 excited. so i did not have any <laughs> ebay sales of note i don't even think i had any and on mercari i had like a couple low dollar sales so my good week definitely happened on posh mm -hmm. so on the 26th on poshmark i had two sales i had three my first sale 
kicking it off <laughs> strong. And you gotta be kidding me. the Agua Ben Dealer is back, y'all. I'm back. Oh my god. I never went anywhere, but I'm back anyway. The Agua Ben Dealer. Um, so Somebody my, needs to put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> I do. My first sale, and cue the, I'm only gonna play the heavenly music for like one second here, because it gets a little long. <laughs> I know. The My first sale was this Agua by Agua Bendita Acacia Linen Floral Maxi Dress. And this sold outright for my full asking price of $785 for a dress, which is insane. This was super beautiful as they all are. It was really I definitely really have pretty. other agua prints that I prefer. Like there's some that are just like stunning. So good. But yeah, this sold for $785 and so I'm getting $628. And of course I always pay up for them but that is definitely much more. So then my second sale was definitely nothing to shake a stick at either. I sold this really adorable Longchamp Blue Mist Lepliage foldable backpack. These are very popular, including with Ryan's hand. family. His sister has one. My sister has one and my mom has one. And my mom is like the Longchamp queen. She has so she many. Is, yeah. And I wanted this. Hmm. And you didn't get it. <laughs> and this so cute. This sold for a hundred dollars, and I get eighty. And I did pay up for this. I think I paid thirty-five or forty dollars for it, knowing that obviously I'd maybe only like double or so my money. But it sold quickly, and I knew that would happen. I like the new ones where they have like the little red yeah. snap on them. Or, like, yeah, that's the red. That's bottom. why I wanted it too, because it was like a newer one. Oh, if it was so... an older one, I wouldn't have paid like thirty-five. And 40. there's a long shop in Chicago, so who knows. You might be seeing that. There's an outlet. Oh, I just remembered that. Okay. So my first on the 26th was this pair of Brandon Melville John Galt cutoff denim shorts. These sold for $31. I made it $24.80, which I think is more than retail, to be completely honest. Probably. By like a dollar, but I'm not mad. Then I sold this pair of Free People Cream Khaki Distressed Overalls. These only sold for $30, and I made $24. I definitely thought these would do better. But apparently overalls, I'm just, meh. And then my last on the 26th was this vintage high-rise really colorful pair of printed by like pants. These were in a bin with like a bunch of really cool like 70s and 80s stuff. And I honestly thought they would sell sooner. But that's okay. I made 22.40. So then on the 27th, I had four. I didn't have any. My <laughs> my first on the 27th was this Stella McCartney Runway 2015 plaid high-low blouse. Oh. And this sold for much more than I expected. This sold for $200. It's so cute. I had it priced at 300 And that was mainly because it was lit. Like I had the runway photos. It was a runway piece. Or else I would have probably priced it a little lower. But it sold for 200 And I get 160 then I sold a vintage item, which is honestly not that common for me. It was this vintage floral spring button front cotton skirt. And this sold for $20 and I get 16 And that was in a haul not super long ago. So that actually sold pretty quickly. Oh, it was cute though. Then I sold this Free People One Eastern Fringe Crochet Bralette. And this sold for $20 and I get 16 And that was a bins find. And so it cost me like 50 cents. A buffalo nickel. Then I sold another Free People item and I actually actually had relisted this item like three times and it always got a bunch of likes but no one would ever buy it and this time someone bought it like really quick thank goodness because i was about to just consign it <laughs> just give it away free people knit sweatshirt <laughs> That's my title. <laughs> Sold for 25 and i get 20 and as soon as i saw an offer go through i was like whatever this is you are gonna be <laughs> you are the you are gonna have owner. a new sweatshirt <laughs> So then on the 28th, I didn't have any, which I'm just realizing on my best week ever, I had a zero sales day. Proving that That's zero sales crazy. days really don't mean anything. That's weird. I had two on the 28th. My first being this Janie and Jack multicolored patchwork little bucket hat. It was so cute. Uh, sold for $15. I made 12 And then my last on the 28th was actually a pair of Levi's from my personal collection, but they just did not quite fit me in the ankle. Like I liked it a little too wide. Levi's vintage 80s black baggy mid-rise. I think these were the 560 if I'm not mistaken. So for $34 and I made it $27.20. So then on the 1st, welcome to March. Not Aries season yet, but we're getting Is it close. coming in like a, a lion or, or is that April? That is March. That comes in like a I lion I think ours kind of came in like a lamb. We've knock on wood. We've had a really I'm nice... Not like, the dog's gonna bark. We've had a really nice like weather week. Tomorrow it's gonna be like 48, but it's also gonna rain all day. But I mean, like, it's gonna be it's gonna be 48, so like, so, like I can stay in the rain. That'll be yeah. fine. On March 1st, I had four sales. 
I need one. My first one went to a new good friend of ours, and we already talked about this in the hall, but it was this Skull Cashmere baby striped graphic onesie, <laughs> and it went to the owner of one of our local clothes mentors. It's not the closest one, but it's, no. like, not too far away. She got good and, business. Yeah, we just, like, chit-chatted with her She's one time nice. for, like, 30 minutes, <laughs> and now we're, like... Very, very nice. Yeah. Like, can I go to the vintage thing next time? I was like, please. Like, yes. So this sold for 56 to her and I get 44.80. So thank you to Brittany. Brittany is her name. I don't know why I completely left that out. <laughs> we just ignored it. Totally. Then from my own personal collection, another good sale. It was this Burberry logo printed cotton button up. And it sold for 190 and I get 152 Anytime I get on a kick of like buying myself stuff or if I buy something like kind of nice or expensive for myself I force myself to like get rid kinda of a bunch clear of stuff too of stuff, to yeah. like even out and that was what happened to this then Kristen popped into my closet Asia Dancer who's oh. literally probably in the chat right now because she's hello girly a queen she's here all the time we love her to death she bought the Kareg Dawn bobble heart wool Irish scarf oh. and she got it for 35 and I get 28 so thank you Kristen Kristen, and thank you for watching us as well, Kristen. We love her. Then I saw this Nike logo club fleece pullover hoodie for 30 and I get 24 Love. My one and only on the first was this M.M. LaFleur black crepe sleeveless. It was called the Sarah Dress. Sold for $60 minus a shipping discount. I made it $45.32. And then on the second, I had five. I had three. My first sale, thank you to Gabby and Ryan for telling me to buy this. You're welcome. Was the Jack Vanek Crystal Ball Tie Dye Joggers. And they sold for $31 <laughs> and I get $24.80. <laughs> then to a different Kristen. So hello, other Kristen. She purchased two Walt Disney World graphic Mickey sweatshirts. <laughs> and these were both like very like new. Like you They're could tell. Really cute. It had mm -hmm. like the new label in them. And it was like a, it was kind of like this. It was like a terry cloth pattern on like a really nice sweatshirt so that's why i picked them up they just seemed super nice i love disney sweatshirts and together she got them for 50 and i get 37 32 so thank you very much Kristen. i, I actually, think you are picking up the disney I stuff actually, that's my territory the black and white one like gray one was actually really cute next hmm. up he's turning the corner finally not really not on disney <laughs> next up really good sale again these were Stunning. These and I got a shoes. super good deal on them, is what I will say. Gucci Starry Sky Lurex Jordan Metallic Loafers. <sighs> Holy crap, if these were my size or Ryan's, I'm pretty sure they would not be leaving this house. No. These not at all. sold for 425 and I get 340 That and is insane. Those sold super quick. And Ryan and I were kind of talking about it. Out of all the luxury brands, I almost feel like, in a way, Gucci is like slightly oversaturated mm -hmm. because a lot of people like if they're gonna buy luxury they buy Gucci because it's like super trendy and super yeah. like if you can sell it quickly that's actually kind of nice because yeah. I've had some <laughs> sounds like a first world problem like I've been selling for some Gucci before and it like <laughs> sat for me but yeah those sold really quick then I sold that Anthropology Angel of the North Twist blogger favorite sweater. Oh, that purple one? That was really quick, too. That took, like, so two days. Cute. Sold for 35 and I get 25 32 And last on the second, Athleta. I love Atleta. Atleta. We love an Atleta. There's a lot of Athleta in this week. Athleta Flow With It crop pants, and they sold for 46 and I get 36 80 Very cute. Lo I was going to say, Arita Athleta. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway. <laughs> what? I was going to see a Rita Athleta. <laughs> Why were you going to say that? I thought that would be so much funnier than it actually was. Oh, please edit that out. Don't keep it. No, don't. Oh, that's so embarrassing. I'm so confused. Why I were thought you going to say like, Aretha Athleta? I thought it would be like a funny little like, because I'm wearing an Aretha Franklin t-shirt, like Aretha Athleta. I thought it would be so much funnier than it actually was. Please don't keep that. Oh. No, don't. Okay. <laughs> 
So on the second, I had three. And my first was this Free People Floral Ruffle V-neck long sleeve bodysuit. Sold for $20, I made 16. Then I sold this Rebecca Minkoff a navy blue crushed velvet envelope clutch. Sold for $20, I made 16. <laughs> then I sold this vintage Betsy Johnson puff sleeve punk dress. This I was actually kind of disappointed about. So the vintage Betsy Johnson stuff, especially if it's like from the 80s and the 90s, can do really, really good. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. Stop it. What about Miss Betty? I can do. <laughs> I was almost going to say <laughs> Betsy Adletta. Don't do this to me. The vintage 80s and 90s stuff can do really good because it's definitely like not what she's making now. And it just has this like really interesting cult following. And this one only sold for $40 because it was a little bit more plain. But that is okay. Especially because <sighs> isn't there like a really old Betsy label that has like a picture of like a woman? Yeah, it's like, so it's called the Betsy Johnson like punk label. And it's like a girl with like crazy hair. It's usually like a pink or That's a teal. Like, yeah. That stuff is like four or $500 a dress. It is crazy expensive. And that was it for my second. On the third, I had four. I had three. My first one was this pair of Free People Kyoto high rise leggings. And honestly, like Free People movement usually like doesn't do that good for me. Mm -hmm. So I usually don't want to spend much on it. And these were 10. So I was very happy hesitant but i looked them up and they're still on the website for full price so i was like then yes sure yeah so they sold for 38 and i get 30 40 then i sold this free people corduroy lieutenant insider oh, hat and this so sold for 30 and i get 21 32 and that lot for a hat that had so many likes so quick i feel like the free people accessories do so good they like do. the scarves and the hats and like the, the scarves is like hit or miss. yeah the bags do so good then we got some more aretha athleta we have these Athleta Knit Breather <laughs> Jogger Pants. I'm having a flashback. <laughs> these Don't sold do this to me. for $35 and I get $28. The bad part is, is I sold a lot of Athleta this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> this tormented. Week. Then more athletic items. Thank you. Oh, the free people was also athletic. Weird. You it's did like sell a lot of lot. athletic this week. Balance Athletica Teal Quartz Textured Leggings. And these sold for 50 and I get 37 32 So like we said, that's definitely a bolo. Mm -hmm. And that was it on my third. So my first on the third went to the lovely Miss Shannon. I hope you enjoy it. She got this really cute new tag and throat moth. It was this really pretty like sparkle sweater. Sold for $32. I made it twenty five sixty. Then I sold this J. Crew collection. What? This what? coat that you're going to talk about. Oh. So first say it, and then I'll give the story. It's J. Crew collection. It was this really beautiful gray wool toggle, like nautical coat. I found it in the bins, like not recently, but not like forever ago. It was really big, and I just didn't want to store it. So I took it to two different consignment stores, and they both passed on Without it. Without showing or telling me he was doing <laughs> I that. I was just going to like make a quick buck on it and like move on. And all of a sudden, I see it in his like <laughs> consignment, notices. like denial bag. Bag, and I was like, you're consigning that? And I was like, yeah. Like, first mm -hmm. off, J. Crew coats do so good. Second off, so cute. Like, really adorable. Third, it's J. Crew collection. Like, that's the expensive one, right? Yes. Yeah, I have like a brain fart with J. Crew. Sometimes. Like, I would <laughs> never consign that. Especially because it was also like newer too. Yeah, it was really, really, really nice. It was in really, really good condition. So I listed it at 150 and then lo and behold, the other night I get an offer of $120 and it goes through. So I make it 96. You're welcome. Thank you. For saving that. Instead thing from of a me making store. like ten to twenty dollars at a consignment store. And then my last item on the third was actually from that really amazing Vince Hall series that we did last week. It was this Lululemon, the multicolored floral solo sports bra, that really pretty floral one. And it was in Luan, which mm -hmm. I think people like because I put Luan in the title and then it was just like 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 mm -hmm. uh sold for twenty eight dollars and I make twenty two forty. So the last day of what sold Saturday was definitely my best day and I don't know what was in like the water on friday but like i had eight sales i had two i literally don't even think i like shared at all first off went to shannon so hello and thank, thank you to you shannon. shannon and she purchased the fall raven Konkin top handle nylon backpack so and nice. this sold for only 25 because it has some like stains on the bottom that hopefully will come out mm -hmm. and i get 20 or else those can definitely sell for more than that yeah then a new bolo i sold the lucy and yak poppy hmm. split skirt in black squiggles <laughs> and it sold for Black 35 the this name. was the thing that was like zigga zigga ah was like the name of the print oh yeah and it sold for 35 and i get 28 and that had a lot of likes I then i sold another new bolo <laughs> suit, suit. <laughs> 
It's T Z U T Z U. Zutsu. It's cute. High die mini golf scort. And this sold for 42. And I get 3360. So that's great. Then my favorites. I love. I love, love, love. Sam Edelman Hazels. Mm -hmm. I do not like to sell pumps, but the Hazel is the one exception. Mm -hmm. These were black leather Hazel pumps, and these sold for 35 and I get 28 Then I sold this Anthropology Moth Black Chanel Oversized Cardigan, and this sold for 50 which was my full asking That's price. That's kind of rare now to sell an Anthropology Cardigan for 50 bucks. Yeah, unless it's especially like it's, new. it's not like printed or anything. Mm -hmm. And I get 40 Then to Victoria. Hello, Victoria. <sighs> she bought the most cute shoes ever. She bought these Ganny snakeskin print slingback leather shoes. They are I can't read my whole so title. Cute. She got them for 200 I had them priced at like 300 and they had a ton of likes. Like these mm -hmm. things are still at like in at the Ganny website, in the Ganny website oh, for so a lot. Cute. They're like 425 Their now. shoes are really pricey. And so she got them for 200 and I get 160 So thank you very much, Victoria. I think you're going to love those. Oh, so I hope cute. you do. They are absolutely beautiful. Then another Athleta item, and this is the Athleta Aura Split Ankle High Leggings, and these sold for thirty nine, and I get thirty one twenty. Never gonna wear this. And <laughs> last for me this week, we are finishing off in a finale, and we're finishing off just how we started. The Agua <laughs> Bandealer. I sold this oh Agua Bandita Floral Bird Tropical Maxi Puff Sleeve Dress. And this sold for only $10 less than the other one. This one sold for $775. And I get $620. But I will say, this is a much newer one. I like this print a lot more. I think since, this print is a lot more pretty. Since it had the yeah. puff sleeves, it was much more trendy. And I had it priced at $1,000. And it still had like 40 likes on Posh and like 12 watchers on eBay. So I probably could have got more, but how do you decline a $775 offer? I don't think you, you don't. Can. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was the end of my week. My, definitely not as exciting. Like, let's just turn those expectations all the way down. <clears throat> First on the fourth was this misguided four screen bandage strappy bra swim top. <laughs> Woo! Yay! So for $18, I made $11.72. <laughs> But my next on the fourth was actually really cute. It was this Anthropology Edith Black Beret from that other really good Ben's haul that we did. And this one sold for $20 and I made 16 <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the finger clap. My gross for this week, like I said, I'm pretty sure is my highest oh my I've God. ever had in one week. Especially because this is only counting posh, even though my other mm -hmm. platforms didn't really do anything. 3,402. And I'm fairly certain You're that I have here. not broken 3,000 in a week before. Ryan thinks that I did, but I'm I pretty like sure. A little over. I'm pretty sure one week I had like 2,980. And I was oh. so close. Maybe. My gross was $496. So take off the three in the front of mine and you get a Ryan. You get Miss Aretha. <laughs> Aretha Athleta. <laughs> Then my ne <laughs> I'm literally never gonna wear this again. Two thousand seven hundred and twenty-one dollars and sixty cents. Mine was three hundred and ninety-six dollars and eighty cents. And the end. <laughs> Let's end this so one. So I'm sure oh. that next week. Is probably not going to be like a great sales week because no. we definitely won't be doing be any like computer. sharing or offers for the first couple of days we're there because no. I don't want people to wait too long for shipping. Mm -hmm. And even on the days where we start sharing and stuff again, probably still not a ton because we're going to be really like busy. 10 at a time. Yeah. It's good to have a good week since the next week. Who knows how it's going to be. We will still do What's on Saturday next weekend. <laughs> Maybe Debbie can join us because there, oh, yeah. there probably won't be like a ton. Yeah, we can bring Debbie. Uh, but yeah, so let me know how you guys' sales week was this week. Did you have a Ryan week or did you have a Jack week? <laughs> Ryan has had a lot of good weeks lately. I was going to say, I've been riding really and high recently. I have, so like, this, oh, it kind of makes sense. I've been having some, like, not that great weeks lately. So this is kind of like the universe evening us out. Yeah, the karma. Yeah. <sighs> And also, like, let me know, on the 4th, did you have a lot of mm -hmm. sales? Because I'm kind two? of confused why I suddenly did. I don't really, like, know what's going on here. Mm. But yeah, so we will see you guys on Tuesday. 
for the smaller, small-ish haul. Mm -hmm. And then we will see you guys on Thursday for <gasps> the Chicago Oh, fall. that's going to be so fun. I'm so, excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait. So we will see you guys then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you.